Agent Wrappers app will save you from having to buy multiple IDX accounts for different agents. With this app, you can have a single IDX broker account. In this case, I'm going to be showing you how it works with cbn.on.ca. This is Colwell Bankers, the Newman Real Estate Brokerage. Um, they sell properties in Ontario, Canada, and they have lots of agents working on their site. So what they did is they have this account registered on IDX Brokers, and they modified the header for some of their agents that wanted to create their own website, but they're still using the same feed from this website. It's going to be a lot more clearer when I show you what I mean. Um, but let's make a search on this main site and take a look at the header that they have on the top. So this is the IDX broker feed and this is the header that they have. As I mentioned, they have lots of agents working with them and some of these created their own website. For example, here is one of the websites, evelynandmaria.ca, and they have the same feed, it's just a different site. So if we search for Evelyn, we can see um, they're a broker. Same thing for Maria. But the difference is when we go on their site and we make a search, they have their own header showing up. In the past, if you wanted to achieve this, um, you would have to buy a different IDX broker account for Evelyn and Maria because it wasn't possible to have different headers for different agents. However, we created this app, Agent Wrappers, that allows you to do that. And it's a bit technical because it requires um, for you to add in an ID of main on the wrapper page and you have to create a wrapper page for each of these agents. When you do IDX Connect with us, we create these wrapper pages, and if each of your agents sign up for an IDX Connect, we would create this for them. So all you have to do is select the agent and then add in the wrapper page for that agent. So this is for this agent called Hudson Smith, which I'll show you next. And this is for Evelyn, which is the header I just showed you. So they have a wrapper set up for each of these agents and they added it in here on the app. Then they also need to go on their IDX broker account and I'm going to be searching for Evelyn. Go to subheaders and they have to have this um, on their subheader. This is a code coming from IDX add-ons and this is to call in the agent wrapper um, that we set up for Evelyn in this case. You would do the same thing for Hudson. You go back, search for Hudson and edit that subheader um, that I showed you. Now another downside to doing this is that um, if I show you with Hudson Smith, there is a brief second where you'll see the main header, which is this one, the one with Colwell Bankers, because everything is connected to Colwell Bankers, um, Newman Real Estate. So here we have Hudson Smith, we make a search, and for this brief second, you see how it changes from Colwell Bankers to Hudson Smith. This is something that we can't control and that we might be able to fix in the future, but for now, you do have that millisecond where um, it briefly changes headers, but then you have Hudson Smith, which is um, the one we want on Hudson Smith. And as you can see, it's still on properties.cbn.on.ca, which is um, the main website because it's connected with the feed um, coming from this IDX broker account. These are just different agents with different headers but it's the same feed as you can see here. The same thing would apply when you click on a property, um, you would see the Evelyn and Maria logo if you're on that website. The other thing is that um, the websites need to be opened up on private tabs. Um, so if somebody opens up the three sites on here, they would see the first header that they opened up. This is because um, the headers are cached, but there's nothing interlinking um, these websites to one another. So if somebody finds Hudson Smith or Evelyn and Maria, um, they would see that header respectively. The other thing I mentioned about the ID equals main is that on the wrapper page, there needs to be um, this 
coding over here added in. I know this is technical. Um, so if you need help with this, don't hesitate in sending us an email. Our email is support at realtycandy.com and one of our developers can help you out.